Okay, so here we are at the mall. And so, if we look up here, it's been overcast all day. And if we look at this line right here, you can see it's curving. It curves around right there. And then there's actually another line there. So, and there's the moon right there. You can sort of tell these are geoengineered clouds because it's more of a haze than any kind of moisture thing. Take another look at this cloud here. This cloud here, or whatever, this spray is actually curving. So basically, it's curving over the top of the city, Eureka. And it actually looks like it does like almost a whatever, all the way back around kind of turn right there. So that is, and you can see that it's actually starting to be manipulated. The particulates are being manipulated by the lines. I, kind of call them zebra clouds and there's actually a crisscross right there so supposedly the crisscross is a way for them to sort of uh, map their territory and kind of figure out put it into their computer stuff and make a weather event happen and so, and you can see back here, further back here, that these clouds here, they don't look natural at all. They're kind of like, kind of a big black spot in the middle there and some darker ones below and some lighter ones around the middle. Yeah. And there's an airplane flying up in the geoengineer sprays. And so the, the sprays actually might be good for cars because it might make the engine last longer if it's breathing in particulate, nanoparticulates of aluminum and barium. And so that plane is actually sort of following that spray right now. It kind of curved around. Let's see if it's going to go back. Probably not. But yeah, so that's this is Thursday and we've had pretty much cloudy skies all day. We had some sun yesterday very little, but we did have some, uh, the rain did stop for a while yesterday. So right next to this tower, that's the company that supplies the fluoride they put in the water supply. So they have two of these towers. This these small dish uh, antennas, they're actually facing the coast. And so you've got one large sort of flat panel up there. It definitely wouldn't be a solar panel. Okay, so we have this, these lines. Okay, these clouds look a little bit liney here. These clouds here over the coastal mountain ranges, they definitely look liney. 
And then there's something happening here. They're doing something over here. What they're probably doing is they're trying to probably condense those clouds and make it rain over there. It's, it's looking pretty wicked over there um, as far as Franken skies go. And so, yeah, there's that line, that one line I was, that curve, let's see if we can see it. Can't hardly see the curve anymore. But yeah, we got something going on over there. And if we look out here, we can see a little bit of lininess to these clouds in the far, uh, the far background. We see the streaks, the line streaks in the clouds. And then this definite kind of like, whenever you see a sort of like a straight sort of geometrical thing, this is not like nature, man. Nature is like not normally kind of like straight, square, geometrical. It's more of a natural, it more it has more of a natural curve to it. It's, it's not straight like what's left of that one. That is not natural at all. And so once again, <clears throat> most people find it hard to believe that basically they can't control their air supply and it's actually quite shocking and upsetting to say the least that someone is spraying nanoparticulates of perhaps barium, strontium, aluminum, sulfur, coal ash, etc. in your air and you can't do anything about it. There are uh, quite a few elected officials that I've contacted and they want to completely ignore the issue. And I think one reason is that uh, it, the, the, the strontium and barium have a mil military application to it. So basically the military application can also be uh, uh, sort of used as a weather weapon basically it's called o over the horizon radar so over the horizon radar basically they can go curve around the earth and create weather events uh, beyond the horizon or around the horizon uh, by sending up radio transmissions into the ionosphere, the upper atmosphere, and manipulating these sprayed materials. And so, and I'm sorry if you didn't want to hear this. Um, seemed like a couple of my friends had open ears, so I thought I'd tell them. And they admitted they've seen this stuff, but now don't want to talk to me about it and I can understand how something like this would be shocking and upsetting so the thing to do would be to talk to your friends about it and uh, at this point we actually had the green presidential uh, candidate Jill uh, come up here and talk to people and I was surprised uh, fortunately I didn't hear about it till the broadcast was on the radio and then it was pretty much done day for me and no one asked about geoengineering and when Jared Huffman was here uh, he asked his assistants to pick 10 people to s ask questions. And of course, they know me, and they've tried to ignore me before, and they ignored me this time as well. So, and then we can see what's happening right now. The sun here, we see the scalar action. It's, it's like a ripple effect. It's like... 
what I call the zebra clouds basically we can see this line starting to form these are like flux lines where if you have iron filings around a magnet and uh, this is kind of like what they do uh, and so basically yeah they're spraying the stuff in our air without any public environmental impact reports, without any informed consent, which any doctor should have and would probably be put out of business if he didn't have. And my rant is they stopped taking my rebuttal comments over the phone at the local radio station they will not air my rebuttal comments at the local radio station and so that that radio station is supposed to allow time for different points of view and they don't they they do not air my comments they take recorded comments and they do not, they stopped airing my um, comments. So there's a lot of people that don't want to hear about this. They want to hear about what they want to hear and anything else is not part of their ego trip. And so that's the way I see it. How about you?